Today on Crip Sports, we have a head-to-head -head matchup between Brock and Greg in today's Secret Stipulation Sunday. Brock and Greg are going to battle it out over nine holes on today's golf course, but neither one of them know how to win the match. At the end of the nine holes, they have to call me, where I will have a predetermined set of rules on how the winner wins the game, and they will find out live if they have won or lost. The loser? They have to play the next hole with their pants down. This is Secret Stipulations. Oh, back here again. Back here again. Coming down on the right side. On. He's on. Kick left. Should Get be just in the fringe. I think you can see it. You're right up there in the fringe. Good shot, Greg. Thank you. First swing of the day. Still got breakfast waiting in the sack. Goodbye. There it is. Somebody had to show out. Good ball. All right, so walking up here, me and Greg hit two pretty good balls. You can see mine right over, right over here, just about 15 yards short of the green here. Greg right here looking pretty. Here we go. Good morning, everybody. Yeah, 7.50 tea time that one of us was a little late to. Won't call any names, but it wasn't me. I was late, my fat ass gotta get McDonald's. Yeah, I want him to eat, I don't want any excuses. Hell, it looks like he's already ate. I'm acting like it. Yeah, good shot. Knocked one in there about three foot or so. Let's see what Greg can do. He said he thinks he's gonna putt it. Need to putt it again. Well, it looks like we're gonna have to putt it again. All right, so Greg's birdie putt here. Just a little low. A lot of break on that putt. Made that look easy, didn't it? Hole number two. Uh, took birdie on the first hole. Greg took a par. But secret stipulations, we don't have a clue what's going on. We're just playing and we'll find out after the run out. May need a little luck with that one. Greg pulled the big dog. Pulled the big dog and hit, he's hit it right down the middle. So good ball there from Greg. Should have a good look at get on the green for eagle. All right, we had a little luck off a of tee. Found it right here, hitting two from about 280 out. Hitting it right over the tree, should be in good shape. So we made it down here to Greg's ball. He's got about 125 to the pin. Uh, you see my layup just right over here, so pretty good spot. He's going right at it. If it's a number. Close. 83 yards. I stand corrected. Good swing. Y'all saw all that. Good look. Good shot. So we got Greg here just off the front of the green here. See what he can do with this putt. Good putt. Now see what I can do with mine. Taps in for par. We move on to the next. Here we are on hole three. Got a little shoot to hit through. Creek down around the green. Good ball. Right center. Good shot. He's hit a good one right down the middle. All right, here we are. He's about 85 out. Little deep, little deep. Not bad. Just hit off the back. Just hit the back of the green and kicked off. Little right of the pin. It come down. It looked like it done the exact same thing mine done. The hard, this is the hardest hole on the course here. Uh, just the green is not very big at all. There's no green to work with. If, if anything, walk away with par here is good. So that's what we're going to try to do. All right, here we are back here behind the green. We're going to test his skills right here. Not bad from here. Didn't have much to go with. Greg from about 10 or 15 feet closer. Just like that. That's good. Pick that up. Good chip. All right. Brock's got a par putt right here. Tailed off on him to the right. 
first blemish of the day. Yeah. Rolling up on number four here. He's right at the flag. If it's the number, really good. All right, here we go. Brock's on the tee box, hugging this left side. He's going directly at it. Got it coming in. Just a touch short. He should be in good shape. I still ain't had my chicken biscuit yet. Yeah, and he's still he's whining about this chicken biscuit. We're gonna take a break and let him eat this biscuit. All right, we up here. Brock's about five foot short of the green. Got a false front to go over. Not very much room past the pin. Hands are greasy. Got chicken biscuit on. Yeah, he's finally ate this chicken biscuit. Now he's still fussing. Good chip. I thought it was going in. It didn't go in, but I didn't want it to. I was ready to dance, baby. Good chip. Thank you. Get in there. And he's left it about a, what, half a turn short? One, one more roll and it falls in for birdie. But uh, you'll take par here. So here we are on hole five. It's par five. Right down the middle. It's come down right on this this line here so should be a good ball down there in the middle between thank you and again good swing brother thank you. here on the edge of the fairway don't look like a fairway but it is uh <laughs> don't look like it but it is good swing it's fading a little right up there in good shape. So here we are with Greg. He he hit about 15 yards past me. See if he can hit one close here. That won't be close. Be close to the cart return to path sign. So uh, we're close to something. All right, here we are up around the green, hitting three. Let's see what kind of shit he can pull here. Run out. Well, it ain't bad. It's just not what he wanted. I'm not going to mark my ball because we're playing stymies today, so fuck him. You hit my ball, you can win the hole. He's won the hole anyways. He's done chipped it in on me. Damn it. All right, we up here on the green. See if he can run this putt in. It doesn't mean any it matter. ain't going to matter. Somebody's already in, but... It'll help my scorecard. Yeah. See what I'm talking about? I had to make it to even get a stroke on him. Boy, that feller's good. Y'all watch him. Watch him walk across there. So here we are on hole six. See what we can do. Beautiful. Beautiful ball. Right on the edge of the trees. The hole goes a little bit to the right up the hill. Should be in, should be in a great spot. There you go. The Johnson shake. Yeah. <laughs> good swing should be in fine position going into the green all right here we go brock's hitting the second shot about 115 to the pin pins all the way back good swing just a touch left of the pin look like a good shot We'll see when we get there. So Greg hits a great drive down here and he's got 73 yards, a little flip wedge. He don't really have his shot in his arsenal. Looks like he's played it all right. Like to the middle of the green. As you can see, he's right here on the green. He's got about 35 footer left for his uh, birdie. And then I think I'm a touch deep. All right, here we are. Brock come right over the pin, just a touch deep. Good ship. Should be routine par. I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can't make a little first person tap for par here. There it is. Thank you. Greg's done had a little magic on the last hole. Let's see if he can bring a little more here. Uh, he's left about two and a half, three foot. Should be, should be a tap in, but I'm not gonna give it to him. And Greg taps in his par. Good shot. He's hit it to about, about eight or 10 feet. 
Great shot. All right, Brock's on the tee box now. Looks like a good swing. Gonna see if we can catch this landing. He's on the green just a touch short. We both got birdie butts. Brock's got a 20, 25 footer. Should break to the left. Usually a really good putter. Give him a little credit where credit's due. Just straightened out, never came back. So here's Greg here. He's got about six, eight foot. Good putt, good birdie. Good thing, because my putt don't matter now. <laughs> so here we are on hole eight. Start out with a good drive here. He's hit a good drive, it's just a touch right. Good drive. Thank you. Good swing, touch left. He hits it a mile. A mile. All right, we got up here to Brock's drive. He's hit it a little left. He's actually wide open in decent shape. Can't see where we're going. It's a blind approach shot. Should be about 115 out. Well, he's back on our side now. Tough lie back there. Got it up to here. Look like a good shot going in. So Greg hit a good drive right there. He's got 99 yards in. He's hit it good, just a little left. Seen it come down about 10 foot left of the flag. See if Brock can make his putt. He's got about... You got a good look for par here, don't you? Got a real good look for par. Can't stop. Can't stop. Good roll. Good roll. Well, it's about the easiest bogey anybody could ever have. So Greg likes to, Greg likes to say shit and then turn their camera off before I get a chance to say anything or give any kind of rebuttal. I would so. never do that. <laughs> Not a snowball's chance in hell of making this. Fast, breaking a lot. I told you, now he's got another three foot coming back. Good par, motherfucker. So here we are, hole nine, the last hole. Sounded a little heavy, but it's yeah, flying good. What he did say. Play it like a par four. Did say he hit it a little, a little heavy. So, all right, here we go with Brock's tee shot. Where are we at? Just right of the green. It just bounced on. Y'all may have caught that. Yeah, he's kind of lucky. Start with Greg, about 25 yards, 30 yards to the front of the green. Not a whole lot of green to work with. It looks good, gotta go a little. Come up just a touch short. He walked up here, he's got about 25, 30 feet. Just get it on the green, let it roll. He's hit it, he's hit it to about four or five feet, I guess. He's not making this, but we'll watch him anyway. Good stroke. Hello? So what was the secret stipulation for uh, the front nine? Okay, Griffin, number between one and nine. Okay, three. Derek, number between one and nine. Give me number between one and nine. Oh. All right, add up the scores between three, five, and seven. Whoever has the best score wins. And if you tie it, you both gotta put your pants down. Yep, so I lost. Secret stipulations were add up the scores from three, five, and seven. Greg parred three, eagled five, and birdied seven. I went bogey, birdie, par. So therefore I lost. So I gotta play this next shot, this next tee shot with my drawers down. Is everybody ready for this? This is not what we came for today. So first for me, Greg. Yeah, first for all of us. So there's my drawers down on the ground. Should I zoom in or? You'll have to if you want to see anything. <laughs> Good shot. Good shot. You should been playing with them down all day. You need to play the rest of the day with them down. Yeah. No, I just seen you pull I got them up. A little breeze going and it feels really good. Well, I just seen you pull them back up. <laughs> 